we can do practically everything with our little CMS that we have here. And one little thing I want to include is a functionality for settings. So the user can actually change the name of his site. He can actually change the contact information and all that. So for that, we need a settings table. And even though this table is just going to have one row, but at least we'll be able to persist data into a database. So we'll say PHP artisan make model setting and we'll generate a migration for that. And this settings table is going to have some useful roles. So we'll say settings table and we're going to set those roles. So first of all, we want to be able to store the site name. So we'll be that in a string and this is going to be site name okay and uh, the next thing we're gonna have a table string and we're just gonna say contact number and the next thing is gonna be a string and we're gonna have maybe contact email so just the practical things that we're gonna have in application so the next thing we can actually have here is a string and uh, some sort of address okay so we'll just say address Maybe you want to find me or whatever. Okay, so we have this data and I'm bringing this functionality so that in case you have an application in future which needs settings, you know how to do it. Okay, so the more functionality we implement, the more features you'll be able to implement in your future applications. Okay, so there we have it. Now, we need to interact with our setting.php and we're going to set some fillable fields. So we'll say protected fillable equals this and we're going to say the site name should be fillable the address should be fillable and uh, what are the fields contact number contact email so we'll get the contact number and the contact email right there so contact number contact email everything's fillable nice so the next thing these are settings and we can't run an application without the name and address and all of this. So we're going to need a settings table CEDA so that as soon as we start with a fresh database on production, we'll see this database and we'll have settings by default in the application. So let's say PHP Arisan make CEDA and this is going to be settings table CEDA. Okay, so that's created. Let's go ahead and see that CEDA. So we'll head over to our database directory and right here we have settings table CEDA. And what are we going to do? We'll just create app setting and we'll just create a new row. And obviously we're just going to have one row for settings. Okay. So we'll have site name and this is going to be the default site name. We're going to say levels. We have to escape that and we'll say levels block. Okay. We can either escape that or put some double quotes right there. Okay, so looks great. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is set a default address. And I'll just say Petersburg right here. Okay, and uh, the next thing we need to set for default is a contact number, contact email. So we'll say contact number. This is going to be 8900076 something and whatever. Please don't call this number. It's not my number. So in case you call some Russian foreign country, I'm not involved. Okay. Yeah. So right here, we'll have the contact email and this is going to just be info at lavoblog.com. Okay. So that's it. You have a contact email and everything looks great. Okay. So now when we run this CEDA, it's going to create a new setting in our database. Let's go ahead and create a settings controller so that the administrator of this site will be able to edit that. So we'll say PHP Arisan make controller and we'll just say settings controller right here. And we don't need a resource. It's just going to have an update method. So that controller has been created for us right here. So this settings controller is going to have a public function update method. It's going to receive a request okay but let me go ahead and show you something cool right here we don't need to pass in the request because lavo has a helper method that is called request that gives us the request okay so don't be surprised that i'm showing you this just right now it makes things a little bit easier but i need you to know the in and outs of lavo so in this request when the user submits okay save the changes for the settings 
we'll say settings equals setting table and we'll get the first result okay so we need to use the setting model so use app setting right there okay so but before we go into more detail of updating let's go ahead and create the settings page so we have all of these would we'll create a new folder in our admin and this would be settings that blade that php okay oh that should be settings just settings and would we'll have a settings that blade that php so settings that blade that php right there okay so this is just gonna look like our user create so i'll just copy that and i'll paste that in right here okay so our settings page is gonna say edit block settings okay and right here we're gonna say go to settings dot update and uh, right here it's not gonna be user it's gonna be site name and we're gonna have site name and next thing the value we're gonna set it is gonna be settings so we'll say settings and we'll say site name okay so we're gonna be passing this settings variable from our controller and right here would have value to and this field is gonna be for settings address right there so obviously we should have the equal to right there okay so I'll close this up right here and uh, this is not gonna be this it's gonna be address and type is gonna be text and this is gonna say address okay so that's our site name and that's our address we need contact phone so I'll copy this and I'll duplicate it and this is gonna be contact phone and this is gonna be contact number I think we called it contact number okay but it doesn't really matter we're just gonna access this data from our controller so contact number or contact phone and the next thing is gonna be the contact email so it's a contact email and the value is gonna be contact email right here okay so contact email just like we have in our database and also this is gonna be contact number so number right here okay so we have this and this is gonna be name of contact email and type is gonna be text so everything looks great and finally we'll just say update site settings okay so update site settings and this is gonna submit the form and we need this route and we also need the route to see this form so let's head over to our web.php and right here would have a route get and this is gonna go to slash settings so slash settings and we'll receive an array which uses the settings controller at the index method it's gonna give us that page to see our settings as we'll just say settings dot or we just call it settings okay so in our settings controller right there we're gonna have the index method so it's a public function index and you just return a view and this view is gonna be admin dot settings and right here we'll pass in the settings from our database so we'll say pass in a variable called settings and the name of this and this should be setting and you get the first result okay so since we have just one setting in application okay so we're returning that but also let me check out this directory right here we have settings we should also go to settings that settings right there it's nested so settings and settings okay so that looks great let's just add a link for our settings so we'll head over to our app.blade and uh, right here we're gonna have settings so i'll just copy this and uh, we're gonna have that link right at the bottom and it's gonna say settings and it's gonna go to the settings route so we'll say settings right here but i also want to put this in an if statement so that only authenticated administrators can assess it so we'll say if auth user is admin then display this so and if right there 
okay so we'll display that word if the authenticated user is an administrator and also we can actually attach that middleware right here so we say middleware and this would be admin middleware so that's it so last thing we gotta do is create the route post right here to actually update our settings so we'll say settings slash update and this is gonna receive an array and would we'll say uses the settings controller and add the update method and would we'll say as settings dot update okay and uh, we'll attach that middleware also so we'll make sure that only administrators can access this and this or what we can do also right here rather than repeating ourselves is to also inject that middleware into our settings controller so let's do that so we need our constructor so public function and would we'll say construct and right here we'll just say this middleware and would we'll say off okay and it's not off pardon it's admin right there Okay, so this middleware is protecting this route and this route. So only authenticated users can get in. So in our settings at blade.php, we are submitting to this route. And when we submit to that route right here, let's just die dump the request data. So we'll say die dump and we'll just call the request method like we talked about. And it's going to give us the request. Okay, so let's check that out. If I refresh, we have a new settings. And if I click on settings, base table of view not found obviously because we haven't migrated yet so let's migrate the settings table we migrated it and we refresh trying to get property of no object okay why because we don't yet have settings because we have to seed that so db seed but we haven't yet registered our seeder with our database right here so we have to say when we seed to the database, call a settings table seeder. And this is gonna be a class. So we'll call the settings table seeder class from this directory. And it's also gonna run that. And a settings table seeder is setting up some new settings into our database, okay? So that's clear enough. And uh, right here, since we don't wanna seed our users table, we're gonna just uncomment that and run the seed for the settings table. So if we refresh this page right now, we shouldn't have any errors. So bam, we have our data. So this are our settings for application and everything looks great. He's an administrator, so he can access it. Because Emily is an administrator, so she can access this page. So let's go ahead and just update this really fast. If we submit this form, it's actually gonna die dump the request right here. So you see we have the request. And on that request in our settings controller, we can also call the all method. And if I refresh and submit, you discover we have all of that data. So what are we gonna do? Okay, so right before we search this, we're gonna pass in a validator. So we'll validate right here. And uh, we're gonna pass in the current request using our request method and we'll pass in some validation rules so we'll say the site name must be there required and the contact number must be there also required and the contact email must be there also required and also the last thing the address must be there so we'll say address must be there and required Okay, so since we have just one setting, we get the setting and we just need to update right now. So we'll say settings right there and, you, and we'll say the site name should be equals to the request site name right there. And the settings address in our database should be equals to the request and that's gonna be the address right there. Okay, so we say settings and uh, contact email should be equals to request contact email and finally settings contact number should be equals to request contact 
number right there okay so there we have it last thing settings save and we set a session flash to the session and this should say success and we'd say settings updated okay then we have to return the user back so return redirect back okay so that's all we need to import a session above so we'll say use session right here so use session okay so everything is set up let's go ahead and see if this works so i'll refresh and this is gonna be lavos block updated and russia petersburg europe or something and let's just update settings so we see settings updated and that data is persisted so we are now able to set settings in application thank you so much for watching and in the next next video we're gonna start building our front end the long-awaited front end so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video <music>